Come down, and let's activate its effect. Two, just two energy cards. Let me do this carefully. So that's the very, very first time on stream. We're able to do this. There are the two energy cards. Those will immediately attach. Here's the third energy card. Ah, uh, we're gonna go. We don't have... We can't activate... Well, he's blocking Coconut, Ma Coconut Master. So Banana Master, three bananas. We haven't got our draw supporter yet. Or any supporter. Oh, there's our draw supporter. There's a retreat, too. To have a nice deck flow th throughout the game. Here we go. Prism Star Dark Rye, you're now starting up front. And let's get to it. Here we go, Abyssal Sleep. Put this thing to sleep. Don't be like the first match. Don't be like the first match. There we go, one tails. <laughs> well, hello, Nogros and the Frenchels. It's Dom. Welcome back to my kitchen. On today's menu, I'll be serving you a taste of Prism Star Dark Rye. Yeah. Everything named Dark Rye has been pretty good so far. Yeah, he is no different. He is a very strong card that you can only have one card. Kind of like a god card. He's not that strong, but it is definitely a good card. It's a solid, I suppose, efficient, we should say, with its stats. Not enough to be overwhelming, but very, very good. So, he only fits in one deck that has very good synergy with him. Yeah, he's an alternate attacker, and it's Turbo Dark Rai, who really likes lots of energies on the field. This guy can help, definitely help put energies on the field as a backup. And there are actually two ways to play Turbo Dark Rye. It's the method and how you charge the energies up. You need lots of energies on your Pokemon to do good damage. You can use Max Elixirs, and this is the other way, which you know, I've not found this way, but it works. And it synergizes beautifully with everything else here. So this is the Dragonair Turbo Dark Rye. Them updated everything upgraded to Ultra Prism and the new Prism Star will be in it, which you'll definitely get to see some game time. Yeah. Oh, I loaded up up first. Don't miss that first match. It's there. So let us get started today. Uh we have a lot of matches. Trust me, there's a lot of match stuff in this video. So uh, today's intro is gonna be uh music intro is gonna be simple and clean from Kingdom Hearts, which I believe the next one in the series happened. <laughs> I haven't played it in a long while. I forgot what the story was about, but I pro I'll probably pick it up. So yeah, PS4 is waiting. Oh, send me. Yeah, my money already. So let's get started. All right. So let's. Okay, let's talk about this deck. What did we want to talk about? What do we start first? Okay, let's start with the foundations. You need lots of energies because of this guy. Let's take a look. Go straight to the meat. Dark Pulse. It's a two energy attack, which will not be a double colors because this attack wants. Dark energies on all your Pokemon. The more you can attach to your Pokemon, the better. 20 damage. That doesn't sound too high unless you have a big combo that lets you do lots of energies. Uh, one. So we're gonna go to Dragonair now. Dragonair, you're stage one. This is limiting. You have 90 hit points, but you take any energy to use Dragon's Wish. Next turn, you have unlimited energies you can attach on your next turn, which means you can dump all your energies, play a draw supporter, dump all your energies again, and it's gonna be a fa fantastic result. Ah, okay, use Dragon's Wish, get lots of energies by, well, draw supporters are supposed to get you only one or two energies per turn, that's not enough. We have to load this deck with 13 energies and four Professor's Letter, four of these. 13 energies, and this allows for a big burst of energies. Yeah, then finally, that's still not enough. You need a choice, man. You need this 30 bonus damage to reach that one-hit KO potential on GX. The energies, yeah, you need like nine without the choice, man. This saves you a lot. It helps you reach that break point. It's very, very significant, and that's why you need it. So yes, Donald, we kind of, if you're familiar with Turbo Dark Ride, this is old news for you. All right, so where does the Prism Star Dark Ride come in? Yeah, let's go in and throw him in. He's an alternate attacker. You only get one of them. He has very, very near GX stats, and a choice pan cannot be used to help you get KO. So that's good right there. Nightmare Star! Here's why I'm using Dragonair. It also benefits from uh, having lots of energies in your hand, which Dragonair wants. Professor's Letter, two energies in your hand. It's a way to burst energies in your hand, and Nightmare Star allows you to attach pretty much three energies during that turn. 
Two of them must go to Dark Rai, though, because that's what it does. When you play them from your hand, you must be holding it. So you can't go straight from your deck for something like that, like a Nest Ball. Play it down, you must be also holding two Dark Energy cards. Really, that's where Professor Lettuce comes in. So, then he'll be almost ready to go. Yeah, you won't be able to instantly charge him up, but it's pretty close. Yeah, next turn it'll be up. Abyssal Sleep, what does this thing do? Two hit KO. The damage is so low that... Oh, just enough for you to get a two shot, but not high enough for you want to push that one shot KO line. So, but the opponent is really deep asleep. The debuff is unique. This special sleep makes you flip two coins. If one of them is tails, 75% chance the Pokemon's gonna be asleep. So if your opponent has bad or just just stuck with it, their uh their uh, special status removal, their switches, basically. Their switches. It is a one-hit KO. It is a death sentence. It is very, very good. But it's four energy, so once he goes down, you lose 80 damage off this dark ride. Ouch, that is no good. So we're gonna have to give him some insurance policy. We're gonna use Wishful Baton. Give this to the Dark Rye. He doesn't need the extra damage. It's still two shot. But when he gets knocked out, you keep three energies from the Dark Rye Prison Star, and it goes to any other Pokemon. All three must go to a Pokemon. And that is much better. In fact, they wouldn't mind having us as well. Actually, it would definitely kind of kill their damage. They need the choice spam. But maybe the next Dark Rye can help out. Well, it's just how the flow of the game goes. Oh, that's your that's your one of your alternate attackers. This is the core attacker. Alternate one, alternate two is gonna be Guzzlord GX. Okay, he's like, oh, you got lots of energies given to me. Why? I have a five energy attack that with the choice ban is a one hit KO on most Pokemons. You can chain one shot KO. It's like, you don't need this Dark Rai. Let me handle it. And you know what? He has more hit points. He has more base damage. Why not? Why don't we, why don't we just make a double Guzzlord thing? Yeah, yeah, nah, let's have a mix. He only needs two energy to go, so the Dark Rai does. So Tyrannical Hole is what we're here for. The hit point is great too. And this GX will help you quickly win the game if... If you can pull it off. This is only this 100. You must get the KO with this 100 damage. But you take two extra prize cards. So if you took out a GX, four prize cards, you're gonna be very close to winning. This GX is a game changer. And you have one of this at your disposal. And he best follows up an abyssal sleep. Oh, you lost half your damn life already? And you're sleeping? Oh yeah, if you somehow could get four energies in this and five energies in this, <laughs> then you're in a good position. So you'll be able to see my in the matches soon. So the rest of the deck is built. You know, has to accommodate all those all those changes. So we only have ten Pokemon. The rest, oh yeah, thirty-seven trainers, thirty energies. It's gonna be a bit clunky, especially. It's really about the Dragonair that makes it uh, there. But everything is else, yeah, it's not too big. Is there anything really specific? I really think I should have another parallel. Parallel's broken. The parallel is broken, so we probably we need to be use this this thing protect parallel protects you from other parallel cities. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna leave it as that. That's the only thing I would make a change here. Just find something to squeeze it in. So that is it. So matches. All right. Of course, I'm definitely going to show you Prism Star right away. And the rest is for you to enjoy. So that is it for now. Uh, let's move on. Welcome to a rematch between Zombie and I. Yeah, he got me the first time. So let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can uh, even this up. I'm going to play my remix of... This is coming out in March. It's a remix of a game that I played streamed recently. That's a uh, really good RPG. Yep. Yeah, the abbreviations are the song name. We'll leave it at that. You probably know what it is if you've been watching. So, here we go. Glaceon up front, opening with a Bridget. Well, you're the only Pokemon that I have with the ability, and you started up front. Otherwise, it probably could have helped. So, man, this would be a three energy here. This would be a good hand for Dark Ride to come out. Yeah, yeah. So, let's see. In order to do that, we're gonna have to throw these three off. And we're gonna have to grab our Dark Rye right now. Prism Star Dark Rye. Are, is it even here? Yes, it is. Prism Star Dark Rye is here. So let's go ahead and throw them down. And let's activate its effect. Two just two energy cards. 
Let me do this carefully. So that's the very, very first time on stream we're able to do this. There are the two energy cards. Those will immediately attach. Here's the third energy card. Ah, uh, we're gonna go. We don't have. We can't activate. Well, he's blocking coconut, coconut master. So banana master three bananas. We haven't got our draw supporter yet or any supporter. Oh, there's our draw supporter. There's a retreat too. You, I can't play any energies this turn. So shuffle back and shuffle back to my deck. All right, there's the dra dragon air for the evolution too. You want to retreat and send this out now? Well, you know, I want. He may remove the float stone. I don't want this to get attacked. I'd rather let it to take the 30 damage and let it be, so... Alright. Sweet. Okay, so we'll leave it even if the floatstone goes. That's okay, we still... This, this is the start of the game. We'll be able to switch it in. And luckily we got some nice draw supporters too. Full us through. There's the floatstone. Look at me! Yeah, I was like, you know I'm not gonna make it, make it work hard to bring a Coconut Must Master back to the bench. Check out Twitch chat. Wanna hear this song? I'm running for through big field, grassy fields. I oh, is that what you see? This song only plays during epic moments in the game that I'm referring to. And very, very good scenes too, so. Leave it be. Yo, doll, any recommendations for the seven elements in Expanded? That was, I have no, none right now. Okay, so. We could actually immediately attack with the Dark Ride. And then maybe later we'll send in the Dratini. How about that? Yeah, hit it while it's down. Let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it in. Now, do you want to play an Ultra Ball? It just hurts too much right now. Dratini can wait. Yeah, Dratini can wait. Let's go ahead and play Cynthia, see what else we can get. Alright, so once again, we can Ultra Ball again. Hmm. It still hurts too much right now. And I know what these are for. Hmm. We'll wait on that. We can do it any time. We'll wait on that. We're gonna wait on this. Let me see, are these draw supporters? Yeah, I don't want to be stuck in draw supporters in the future. I'm gonna do this early on. So, you know, just to have a nice deck flow th throughout the game. Here we go. Prism Star Dark Rye, you're now starting up front. And let's get to it. Here we go, Abyssal Sleep. Put this thing to sleep. Don't be like the first match. I'll be like the first match. There we go. One tails. Double heads are way up. Okay. So, it is now sleeping. He has to use a trainer to retreat. Because sleep blocks retreat from the manual retreat cause. He got unlucky that he couldn't get the double colors. Otherwise, he would have done some damage. Uh, act well, some damage. Yeah, we'll bit enough for to GX us out here too. So, what's coming out is going to be... Let's see, I think he has a GX one. And a regular, you know, GX immunity. So this is pretty much the only guy. I gotta depend on this guy to get through the nine tails. It is still asleep. Two tails. One tail is enough to keep it sleeping. So, um, what do we do? We're gonna play Professor Sycamore. So anything I can't play right this turn is gone. Well, that's easy. That's easy. I can't play another energy. And this is an. It, it represents energy, but not an energy. So we toss it off. We can definitely play this here. And now we need Dragonair. I don't want to use my last bench space, so uh, we'll need this to activate our cards. You know, once we retreat, we're going to use a uh, dragon here to set up. Now, whatever card, if I pull energies or s s supporters, Sycamore, Professor Sycamore, and uh, Banana Master don't mix. I'm not going to risk that. I'm not going to get greedy. I've already maxed down everything here. Let's go ahead and play this down so he can't yeah, drop any other Pokemons down. We could try to shrink his damage. But I'd rather do it this way. You know, could get him uh, stuck. Now I can uh, bring en more energies back, but not this giant. We can't play anything right else right now. We're just gonna finish it off. Yeah, finish the GX off, take two prize guards. Okay. So now, what can come out? He can buy some time. This is just a uh, one prize attacker. Smiley face. We'll put the smiley face back. Hey, I don't have that emote. Somewhere else. So, this comes out. The GX Immune Ninetales comes out. It does 80 damage. He could have, you know, sent this out as, to, as a free attack that allows you to get any Pokemon card you want. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> remembering last time, Darkrai. He's like, oh, I like you this time. Last time around, he didn't put that Pokemon to sleep. Okay. 
So, uh, focusing on here. It, this is something I can one-shot KO. However, once this goes down, and looking at what's behind on the bench right now. Oh, one bench space freed up. It's gonna be Coconut Master. However, it can't be Eevee, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's that. There's Coconut Master. Yeah. Oh. Well, here it comes. What supporter sent the- Oh, no! It's Cyrus! Why? Well, this does- Oh, no, this is not the Linkwit. Well, in that case, protect- Read carefully. I messed up the first time around in our first match between them. I clicked on two bench Pokemon that I wanted to leave, but this is to protect. So I want to protect my Dragonair so I don't have to evolve it again. And I want to protect Banana Master. These will get value when I bring back. But why did he do that? I would have gotten a draw. Is this more dangerous? Is this... Is this more dangerous than getting more cards, is what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but he basically he paralleled me. It's another Coconut Master. This is still here, so that's preventing it down. Okay, I can take the KO. I have a lot of cards in my hand. I don't know what to do. Should I go for a big setup, or should I keep the aggression? That's the thing I gotta think about. Hey, Dartrixian! You know, we have so many cards in our hands. Let's get ourselves in a better position. Let's not be too greedy, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna switch this down right here. I'm gonna activate Dragon's Wish. I have a lot of burst potential bursts in my current hand, so I'm gonna save it. He... Let's just go ahead and do this. If I take a prize card right now, he would have had a slot for Coconut Master. See that? I didn't actually... That was unintentional. If I'd taken this Vulpix out with my attack, he has a Coconut Master in his hand. And look at this army of Ninetales here, too. He... <laughs> and anyway, it's like, no, you don't get to keep this big hand. Oh, uh, Well, you've tricked me! You tricked me! And now we're stuck. We are stuck. Eh, that's okay. We, uh, we're not really stuck. These are all useful cards, and Banana Master is able to kill uh, me more stuff. Kill that Lola 9! Yeah, two removal. Gonna get this ugly stadium down. Yeah. So, he doesn't have to worry about that again. I do not have another one, but Parallel City is nasty. It stopped that Coconut Master down, but, um, I don't think he would have done it anyways. Well, but we'll move on, moving on. Let's see, we have Eternal Sleep. We are gonna drag out, let's see, yeah, whatever he has to attack with. You know, get value out of this Guzma. Put this on because this man, you don't really want to lose four energies. Four energies really hurts the Turbo Dark right here. Alright, so, Vulpix gonna bring out Glaceon. Eh, not gonna, uh, not gonna affect me too much. What card am I most afraid of? You know, these things are annoying, but I don't really don't want to have the first... I, I really don't want to see this. It's gonna be the big decision. For first of all, this needs to be here. You need to go. You know, you don't need to go home, but I prefer to be up here. Let's get value out of this card, right? Nah, nobody needs the energy though. You know, Banana Master does need the energy. Look at all those cards here. Look at all those there. What to do? What to do? Do we go be greedy? We can't really KO this. We can go over, take this out, maybe even take a Glaceon out. Glaceon doesn't look ready like it's about to fight. This is... And this is a brick wall against my GX cards. So let's go ahead and do this. Let him keep the Glaceon, or not? Let him kill the Glaceon, or finish the Glaceon. Do I, do I really hate this Glaceon? You know, there's a Coconut Master in my deck. If it comes out, hmm. There's a Coconut Master. But it's not gonna attack me. It's not ready to attack. Let's do this. Bring this out. Bring the threat out. Bring it out. And we're gonna pull two bananas here. This potentially could do a lot of damage too with a DCE. We get two energies. <laughs> so why am I happy? Banana Master is something that could help me go through these. You know, I mean, they're, they're, they're gonna be three of them, so I'm gonna need it. 
I'm gonna need it. All right, we're good. We're gonna use Abyssal Sleep. This is a one shot of the Nine Tails. So that's my reasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and take a well, one part more prize card. All right, this is good. Coconut Master comes out, and he knows it. He knows the way to do the most damage. DCE up. All right, and uh, this comes out. Energy drive. Ooh, we well, he's about to go down, but he'll put this Coconut Master to sleep. And if I keep my Wish Baton, I need somebody to keep these, get these energies, so... Okay, nobody really needs this here. And I can't play Ultra Ball for it. Well, yeah, I can. I just don't get a draw supporter. I think I'm gonna have to discard the energy this time around, guys. Then play Professor Sycamore. Let's do that. You could Cynthia. But you lose a draw supporter anyway, so... Let's go ahead and keep Professor Sycamore. Now, this time around, I think... I don't think I can get this up. Oh yeah, I can. We may be able to pull off a big burst here. Then again, if Goose Lord gets somehow gets all the energies, it will be able to do some big, uh, yeah. It gets the one-shot KO, gets a lot of things done. So, let's go ahead and toss Goose Lord down. <laughs> Banana Master and Professor Sycamore don't mix. Ooh, this is getting a lot of energies back. I gotta save it, though. I gotta save it. Okay, Turbo Dark Ride, you can go down, too. We have a choice spam, but we can't use it just yet. So let's go You ahead and use Abyssal Sleep. The Sleep... Uh, we need one Tails. If both heads, then it stays up and it gets the KO back at us. But because of that, it's kind of like a one-shot if, you know, they don't can't react. So, he has full bench space. I know he had a Coconut Master, but he ended away. Oh, that's a cool Shana. Yeah, Shana be around. But now there's Cynthia. I was like, nope, Shana still looks cool until full. Well, there's Ford Cynthia, too. But it's not as cool as Ford Shana, right? You yeah, hardly see this. You're a rare breed. Okay, moving on. Ah, it's up the Dark Rye. Tumblr Dark Rye. Yep. Ooh, counters me with Acerola, able to keep that energy, too. And this means this Coconut Master comes out and attacks me. However, can he two removal this? If I'm not, Ghost Lord's coming up with three energies. Yeah, or potentially Turbo Dark Ride too. Let me see, can Turbo Dark Ride get the KO? I think it can. We do want to finish the game quickly, so. Done. There we go, he finished off this one prize, the uh, Dark Ride. I'm very fortunate that this Wish Baton allowed me to keep everything up. This comes out, and the choice man that we saved is here. We also get an energy. We can't super run. Unfortunately, that thing is a prism star, so it doesn't come back. So at this point, uh, let me see. Is it enough energies to play worth? Yeah, let's get the energies back. Let's get the energies back. We still can use Dark Ride to charge up, uh, I'm sorry, Dragon Air to get this up. But however, this is a one-hit KO. I still can get more cards. So, you know, having between having more cards in my hand, maybe try to land a Guzma or something, let's go ahead and do that. Got a choice band, get energies. This is a good hand. This is a good hand, so I'll go ahead and save it. Because I can't really use it. And it might get countered somewhere around the way. So this time, we're not going to click Dark Head like we did the first time around. We're going to click Dark Pulse. I was very tempted to click the last attack, because you know it's always the strongest. Your mouse goes there. And I'm going to take uh, two prize cards. I'm going to switch in full of full arts there. Yeah, how about Cynthia? Cynthia's probably going to go for a lot because for the next three years, you will want four Cynthia's in your deck. Yeah, that's going to suck. But that's okay. So, right now I'm immune to GX, but... Well, we have something for that. This doesn't have energy zone, so I can't counter it. However, he's going to... He, man, this, these coconut advantages, they are working... They are working non-stop, pulling out the big heavy Guzzlord. All right, so I don't have a switch. I'm going to see how many switches I have left, though. I have Guzma, and I have a Float Stone. No, I don't. I only have Guzma. So I don't I don't know if that's... If it's here, then it looks like it's game. Oh, yeah, this thing is blocked. Well, that's a mistake. In that case, I'm going to have to top deck Ghost Lord. I'm going to put a sad face. Nani! Yep, Glaceon! No, I gotta do the dramatic. No! Oh, where did that come from? That's what happened. That's what happened. No! Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I had to hear that. Um, 
Do we charge it up? No, you may not. You're probably gonna die. We're gonna save this though. You could do tyrannical stuff. Let's go ahead and play this right here. Cynthia, look for that Guzma. You have to draw. That's the only way to get it back now. Otherwise, slowly charge up. I'll charge you up. I'll lose everything if I, that doesn't go through properly. All right, Coconut Master, you're next in line. I made my decision. I made a decision. Okay. We uh we used up a lot of our retreats since the, towards the end of the game. Two switches, two floatstone, and the remaining floatstone are here. So he is actually gonna end shrink me to one, which is good, because that means I get another chance to get Guzma. But this is gonna get me stuck. So frost bullet, he could do uh, slowly wear this down. This he's only got one prize guard, so he's gonna he knows Banana Master is the one that gets through uh, his, his stuff. So. I'm gonna keep charging this guy up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dump this, okay? I don't want the energies now. Let me see. Guzma's there, right? It's not there. It's in the last thing of my prize card? Don't tell Zombie that, okay? Form of retreat is that last card in the prize card. I can also, I can, I'm, I'm close to winning. I'm gonna deck out before he does. But I will have enough energies to retreat if he decides to, if his method is, I'm just gonna wait for Donald to deck out. I think I'm gonna have to start applying energies over here. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I should have done it this turn. He may, if he's watching the stream, that he knows the whole no. So that means I have to give up four energies. That's still okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with the Glaceon eventually, though. I'm gonna end again, okay? Well, this well, this puts me in a bad predicament. That's Professor Sycamore. Okay, we don't have time. I'm gonna play Professor Sycamore, grab another energy up, get everything uh, going. He may do that. He may just do that. He may not attack. That would really suck. So I'm gonna weigh on this. Potentially he knows I may not have a retreat. Potentially. We're gonna hold it right there. That's Goosebumps right here. <laughs> So if he takes this, he'll be two prize guards in, and I'll have to see. Because if he decides that, I have to start loading this up. Because when this is free, yeah, we already have enough energies to get this KO. If he takes it, he may, that decision may come across his mind right now. If not, you know, I'd rather save it on something else. But... We'll see. It's like, Donald's gonna have another draw support. Unless, unless, well, I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be rough. Will Zombie take the Goo Goose Lord? Or maybe he won't. He's gonna put Floatstone back here. Will he attack? Take the prize card. Cynthia, six. With, with Prism not getting printed and short, getting ready for Roaring Skies again? I don't get that Metal Crow. Cynthia's still 35, 40 packs. Ouch. All right, red card. Luckily, okay. It looks like he's know what's up. Yeah, and my turn right there. This is saying Donald's gonna retreat and take you out. Well, yeah. If I don't do this, I lose. He knows if he if he does uh, if he uh, if if he attacks, he'll lose the next turn. So he can't have that. Also, hey, Banana Masters, God can break through this. Pulls out Dark Rye. So he GXs and finishes off the that. Ooh. Polar Spear GX. So that's the only card I could have taken him out. Now, that means I don't. Nobody has a one shot KO right now. 
And that got me a free retreat. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Go for a two-shot. I can't lose this here because things are getting bad for me. Alright, so... This has the potential to get another KO. However, he Guzmas this out, I lose. So we'll wait and see. I'm going to end just to be safe. I'm not going to add any energies on or off. There's no Guzma. There's no Guzma. Got another N. Let's go ahead and draw two more cards just to have them here. Ah, this is dangerous. We're in a dangerous spot. Looks like the energy retrieval is still in my deck. I just haven't seen it. And if Guzma, if Guzma is in my prize guard, that means the energy retrieval is there. So it's still safe to charge up the Dark Ryan after as a potential. In that case, I will get two energies out of my discard. Just double checking. Guzma hiding. All right. In that case, I'm not too worried. Let's go ahead and make sure this is available for a one shot. It's in the prize guard, zombie. It's in the prize guard. Yeah. If this pulls out and he finishes, I mean, he's gonna do it, but... Well, he has to be able to retreat, but I'll be able to easily retreat and take the last prize card if the Lola Ninetales comes out. I would have thought this would come out, but... Maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, the, he would he could have killed this. And I probably would have lost. I would have actually would have lost. It looks like, well, he wasn't listening to me. He didn't know Goose Lord was right here. Okay, well, yeah, intense. It is intense indeed. You know, put a third Goose in, guys. If you're watching this fight, put a third Goose Lord in. N. Oh, wow, I'm sorry, not N, red card. I don't like red cards because... I bet there's just other value cards that you can put in room for there. There's the energy retrieval now. Cynthia for a big hand. We're both so, so close. If this died and this came up front, I don't have a counter to it. So this coming up front now. He's... I think that's it. I mean, you gotta know Banana Master is gonna come out and one-shot that. If he Guzma this. But he was afraid of the one-shot. He does That I had a Guzma left in my deck. If that was true... That would have Guzma and pulled through. So, there we go. That's that. Banana Master is right here. I'm gonna put a smiley face. Retreat into the Banana Master. Yeah. Here, you can have another energy. That was that was meant to be. Psychic! Finish it off. Guzma! You can, you can probably... We'll probably have to take a switch out and put something there. Good game, Zombie. By the way, this was uh, two matches with Zombie. So I don't know when you're watching this. There's another match as well. Yeah, if you can't find it, it's on Twitch. It's on the Twitch video feed. Uh, depending how soon you're watching this video. If you're watching it later, oh, that's there. So that is that. Thank you, Zombie. Good game. Very, 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 very good game. Yeah, oh, damn. Welcome to another Turbo Dark Ride Prism Star Dark Ride match. I am going to play my remix of Mission Impossible. Yeah. Because for now, it's Mission Impossible. We're going to do the impossible and make this deck work. Now, let me see. Uh, I, I can't conserve one energy. It, yes, it sucks, but there means to an end. These get helped you out a little bit later. But the stuff that the, the actual stuff that you need are still in the deck, so it doesn't hurt so bad. Take a look at this, it's Coconut Master. Yep, the Coconut Master into Bridget combo. Pretty good. I wonder how many actual uh, Coconut Masters and Bridgets. Usually three, usually three. And yeah, maybe two Bridgets, I think. Yeah. I wonder, if, well, hang on, I hang on to that. Bridget's gonna bring out Executor and Bulbasaur. So the combo is Venusaur provides lots of energies. If we can take this out, it could break the whole system down. And there's only one Bulbasaur right now, so if I pull it out, we think uh, we can get to some, we can do some good. All right, so we can't play any other draws. Is uh, hopefully is a draw in his hand, and uh, yeah, energy goes back to Executor. You uh, don't trust the front Bulbasaur, so he's gonna have to try to rescue this right here. All right, so switch here. I don't really want to switch right now. 
Dark Rai, I mean, with two energy, is you gonna attack? We may just have to do it this way. We may have to, you know, cult start by using the Prison Star Dark Rai as well. There's Stratini. Good. We do need this here. There's nothing else I can do. Yes, I can thin my deck hand for a Death Ball. Now, it can't be that Prison Star Dark Rai, so what else do I need? Turbo Dark. Yeah, you know, thin my deck with another Turbo Dark Rai down. That last space can only go for. Either Coconut Master or a little bit. Prison Star Dark Rai is locked out. Alright, he'll have to show up later. Have to show up much later. Alright, so I'll leave this right here. I'll end my turn. Next turn, we're gonna evolve the dragon there. Put the energy on, and if we land the retreat card, that's what we're gonna do. Floatstone to retreat. He's got the way to bring it back. Evil Soda, priority, who, who gets a priority? Maybe this to attack. I actually didn't see what his first attack was. Don't remember quite remember what the new uh, Lolan uh, Duck Trio does. Although he makes like, this is priority. If I get this up, my energy counts are gonna be such crazy, crazy high. Yeah. All right, Samson Oak. Hey, uh, Herba Coteen, what's up? Make a Rampardo six app in your shoes. We're gonna have to do that all eventually. Yeah. But for now, let's see, he, he evolves the one that doesn't have the energy. Executor Paradise. Any of your bench executes, you can immediately evolve them. Yeah. That's good. But the Bulbasaur... Let's see, Draco Meteor. Flip a coin for every grass energy. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy making this. So, it was, it, you saw a little wiggle because you're not, uh, these two aren't, uh, these two aren't the right Pokemons. And while he did start with Bridged, he did not have a supporter to back up with that. So, that's good for us. We're gonna go ahead and do this right here. Drop this on. I can't get another banana right now. Well, I can, but I'd rather play Cynthia. It's more ris less riskier that way. Alright, we do get a Float Stone to retreat. Not the one... What? You, your Dark Rye? It's not what Dark Rye wants to be holding. But, what can you do? So, go ahead and retreat that. And we don't want the Dratini down. And this isn't activated yet, so right now... Yeah, I'm a little afraid of the Choice Band. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Dragon's Wish right here. I'm not gonna toss down that Choice Band just yet. It doesn't... S Looking at this right here, there are no GX. It looks like he's not gonna even try to attack with a GX. Our Choice Band is not gonna be as useful. Huh. Well, they need to go somewhere. And, you know, it probably can help with a Coconut Master down the road this time. So, let me see. The average damage of this is... 40 damage per energies. It looks like there might be a Victini here, too. So, Skyla. Yeah. Part of the thing with starting off with Bridget's is sometimes you get... Sometimes you get bricked. Alright, so Skyla can bring you any draw... Any... Help! Uh, <laughs> you can't play two support in a turn, but next turn he'll be able to draw. So he's stuck this time. Nothing to do. We're both, uh... We're both... We're both, uh, slow in this time. Alright. Well... I'll definitely have a very big hand next, uh, move. Another float stone for Dragonair? Excellent. I'm definitely gonna take the first attack. I think. I think. So let's go ahead and pull these two energies. There are six energies left in our deck. So let me see. Five right now. Eleven energies. That's a lot. Well, Dark Ride now can attack. Who charges up? Another Dark Ride or Goose Lord? You know, we may have a chance to GX somewhere. Let's go ahead and play everything. We do get another banana. And you know what? Let's not risk it. I don't want another banana with Sycamore in my hand, because he's going to do something bad about that. Parallel City. That's only going to get Coconut Master away. Yeah, that's only going to... And I, I I want this available for a Guzma. Oh, wow. Two Professor's Letters. This is going to be some huge, huge burst. And this will thin my deck pretty well. So I've got only have two energies left in my deck with this. So that means there should be eight energy counts on my side. Oh, that's definitely a one-hit KO. That's definitely a one-hit. So in that case... I want you to be able, available to attack. If those energies come out later, fine, fine. So, yeah, we hit, we nailed the bomb. We nailed it. No, I want to take this card. If I take, yeah, yeah. So, retreat. We, uh, we could, yeah, we can't really GX anything right now. Let's go ahead and use Dark Pulse right here. 200 damage. Yeah, why couldn't this happen sooner? I like this kind of setup, man. But, yeah, I guess the, 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 you need all four letters. Okay. Mass Royale. That's actually a card that may come sooner. 
It looks a little tough though, it's a supporter. It should be an item. Yeah, definitely should be an item, but nah. Yeah. All right, rare candy into that card. Now he's gonna have lots of energy, so that makes it pretty much one energy is about 80 damage. You need three energies to, I suppose you could get lucky, but that's the average. Regularly, they're just 40 damage each. So three actual energies is one hit KOs. Ha, huh. that's gonna suck. So basically you're looking for three coin flips to auto kill. Now with the choice man, with a choice man, you two energies and a choice man can get a basic GX. Yeah, that's bad for you. So he'll definitely get two energies. But he needs a choice man. Well, actually, he just needs three heads. No, he needs a choice man. He gets four coin flips, though, so he needs three heads. It's kind of risky. And he'll also need energies quickly. It looks like he's not ready to attack. He could have sent that out. He could have, but nope. Yeah, you can't l l let yourself lose that card. Okay, so right now, it's safe to pay Parallel City. It means he can't throw anything down right now. Yep. I'm not going to end for him. Looks like he's stuck in draw supporter, so we're just going to go ahead and play Cynthia here. We probably could play Professor Sycamore because we don't need that many draws, but, you know, you might get stuck one day. All right, look what we got here. I don't think there's another Pokemon I can actually toss down. Let's just check out and check. It could be Coconut Master. You know what, Coconut Master, go ahead and fight. Gotta be weird. That means there's no Prism Dark Ride coming out of this game. So let's go ahead and play this here. You can have this, Coconut Master. We are just gonna use Dark Pulse. This is gonna do 220 damage. He's gonna move pretty soon. So this is, yeah, he's stuck. He was like me for a couple of games. No draws. So, he needs a Flip Diddy. Yep! He needs a Flip Diddy. Flip Diddy would, if you don't get the heads you want, uh, enough heads, you can flip again. So, that was just, uh, free Lola Executor just disappeared. That stunk. But, you know, you don't kind of don't want to give up two prize cards too quickly. But now we will have access to a two prize cards. So, three energies. That's your lucky number. He actually has six energies. It should get the KO. The Draconic Meteor. That's enough ads. You can't reflip again, but... Yep. Exactly. Well, we're gonna send somebody with a free retreat out. Goodbye, Dark Rye. He's like, you've slain my brother. Now I will finish you off. However, there's not another attacker. Maybe he could've, should've gave that up. We'll see, we'll see. So let's see. I definitely can get the KO. There's nothing I can GX. This is a threat, so I better finish it off, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's not the... I, I don't need to really do anything right now. We're just gonna use the Tyrannical Hole. We could have used our Dark Ride, but... Uh, I think... Uh, no, I'm not sure. Yeah, that was enough energy. He's... He's really... This is really good for us, Stage 1. Okay, so let it go, and now Coconut Master comes out, there is no other attacker. If there is a DC somewhere, which doesn't really, no, it's just a regular one energy, it would hurt the Guzzlord a lot. Significantly. So I'm wondering if he throws something down the bench, because that allows me to use my Chi X, and I would immediately win the game. If he does, that doesn't happen. That would be really cool. Uh, Prison Star Dark Rai, you had your game, but, uh-oh. Uh okay. Now will you throw something else for me in Chi X? I would... Not yet. Not yet. But you have to if you want another attacker, right? Yeah. I'll be able to KO this. But if a baby Pokemon drops down for me to GX, execute. Or even a Bulbasaur. There we go. Bingo. That's what we need to GX. Cuz Lord, it's like I want to steal the show from you, Prism Star Dark Rye. That's what you get for being in the prize cards. Yeah. I mean, we totally would have loaded it up. It would have been awesome to combo with the professor's letter. All right. It is Guz Guzma. He wanted the Guzma. He wants to possibly slow me down for a turn. I'll, instead of hitting me for a lot of damage. We need to do an end. This looks like a game. I don't think there's anything you can do to stop me unless you take away that choice man. No, there is nothing. Let me see. Is there anything he could do to stop me? No. I've won the game. You're just waiting for it. We're going to pull this out and GX. Nope. Going to run away. Who are you going to give up? Nothing. 
Everything dies. He's gonna just give it to me. I'll give you the execute, but if I GX that, I win. Which is what I was going for. I was like, uh, uh, uh never mind. He already did it. So... Maybe he doesn't know about the GX. I'm not sure. I'm kind of curious if he did it intentionally. Or not. Out of way. The game is, uh, there's nothing else. We just go out and GX and that's it. We're gonna finish the game. Much and GX. Good game. He had a little tough time setting up. With the no draws. And there's that. Hey, Prism Star Doc Rai! Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna join you. Whatever. Alrighty. What we got here? Dragon? Gartrom? Hmm. Well. Okay, let's see what we have this hand here. Today is the day where... Oh dear. That's gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. You need to drag an arrow on turn one. Yeah, we gotta get that. So here we go. Flip, by the way. That's a way to get it there. Welcome to another Dark Ride match. Yep, I'm gonna play my remix of Interstellar's. That particular Interstellar theme. Yeah. So, uh, great movie. Let's let's get started. Let's put down Banana Master in because uh, because I think this may block. You know, Bridget. It forces him to play a stadium or tour move before that, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And I have to play this Ultra Ball, unfortunately. Which, hey, Wish Batons! <laughs> there you go. It hurts. Those are all the Wish Batons there. Alright, so we'll go ahead and toss this down. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be weird. Uh, I'm gonna, I do have actual switches, but I need a switch to go in soon. Oh, Dragon there too. Nice! Nice! Alright, so w we actually will be able to attack, if we want to, this uh, Coconut Master. I will do, let's see, half its life. You can two-shot it without any uh, energies. So, eventually, though, Dragonair is going to have to come into battle. And we'll see uh, We'll see how that goes. Because this is the only absolute, I think you, you know this, this is the only, only way I can get energies quickly to get up into the one-shot range. Or even get Guzzlord up. It must be done. So, Sir Grima, what are you going to do? Here we go, his first move is going to be Ultra Ball. What are you going to destroy? The rescue treasure. Hate it when you draw it at the first start. It's useless. Cynthia's not useless. In fact, if this is the deck, that's uh, the deck. That's the Gibble deck. Okay, so. Go on turn two. Sucks, because I get a free hit. So. There we go. Uh, it comes down. It's the rare candy could show up. Cynthia goes. But I guess whatever he had is so valuable over to Cynthia. He'll be able to recycle them. So that's two Cynthia's down already. Half the Cynthia's. And Parallel... Parallel is not put, letting him put in more than th three Pokemons on the bench. Field Blower, it goes off right away. Definitely, definitely get rid of that. Picard. So, I think that might be the last Parallel. I only have one Parallel in this deck. Usually you want to go for two Parallels. So, holding off right here, the Choice Man goes so I don't get the two shot. That's okay. So, here we go. Um, Nest Ball. Who else do we want to be on the bench? Definitely not Doc Ryan. We don't have an activated its effect. Alright, let's put this down here. I do want to save the draw supporter, even though I'll get more cards. One more card, that's okay. Wait a minute, you forgot to pull an extra card here. Eight, could be eight cards if I do this. <laughs> Professor's Letter, not bad. Let's go ahead and save it. I can't combo that just yet, so I'm going to put Cynthia save those nice cards of mine. And this time around, I will have to wait. We don't have any retreats. Next turn, we'll have a retreat, so we'll go just for uh, almost a two-shot. In fact, if I attach it to the energy, it's not going to be enough. You still need to get that choice man. So that choice man will be able to two-shot. Took it out. And there goes, unfortunately, the Wishmatons that go along with that. So, what we got? Well, darn, Alash Ben Space is going to have to take the space of, you know, the Prison Star Talk. Right. All right, we can deal with that. It's a bit of a slow start. Good for him, because he needs that time to get to come up and start one-shotting me. I need to be ready for that. I need to be ready for that. I may just... I'm not sure. This may be Professor Sycamore because there are a lot of junk in my hand right now. Puzzle is up time! When I first made my own Garchomp deck, I did. I, I read something on Reddit of a player who convinced me. He's like, this is not necessary. This is clunking the deck up. It's always been. That's why we don't see it too often. So right now he's trying to load up his next set of three card, reorder them to draw something else. It looks like he got bricked. But the guard chomp is out, so... Alright, well, we have to play our emergency space, and we are going to play Professor Sycamore because this is almost all junk in my hand. Almost all junk. You can get an energy. I mean, you got to play an energy, right? 
Yeah, if you're gonna play an energies anyways and discard everything, just get one energy, not two, because you can't play two energies. Put into the Dragonair. Here we go, play Professor Sycamore. Probably have one more choice, man. Might get lucky and get it. Oh, there's a the switch. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna get the one shot. I'm not gonna get the one shot anyways that I need to set up for the future. And hopefully for you, bro, I hope you get uh, you get some traction because I hate being brick and I already feel you, bro. So, this is gonna be a nightmare. This is gonna be a nightmare if everything goes off. He's gotta play an N or something. Cynthia, I had his three Cynthias in the discard. He's okay, he's got Pow Pad, but that's, you know, you, you need another one for the uh, attack. All right, so no brick. Dragon's Wish has already gone off, but the pain is gonna start. We're not gonna see our Prism Star Dark Rye. We don't have bench space for him. Not now. But hey, man, well, soon, soon, you will have bench space. Not in a good way, but yeah, okay. I see two prize cards. I gotta make sure there's a second card chop. However, the energy is gonna cap his limit on how often he can attack. All right, I don't know if I really want to help him out. I'm gonna play Professor's Letter. There's only three energies left in my deck. And I'm gonna make sure Guzzlord's ready to attack. Yeah, he's gonna be ready to attack. You can't one-shot my Guzzlord. I'm gonna Cynthia. I'm not gonna help him. No. You're too nice, Sandoth. Here's an extra energy here, but well, my turn uh, energies are, are still unlimited. Pal pad. Did I play Guzma yet? Let's give you a retreat. Let's go ahead and do play Cynthia. And as well as Professor Sycamore. <sighs> There's nothing I can really need an Ultra Ball for. In that case, we're just gonna send Dark Rye in, take the two prize card. We're already ready for the next fight, so it's fine. 200 damage. If I lose two energies, I will have 160 damage on that final Dark Rye. I'm still gonna need an energy card clip. There it is. And it will be ready to fight, so it's okay. Dark he has to come out, but a Cynthia must be played. However, three Cynthias are already in the discard. He's ready to attack! Yes, but Cynthia must be played. And it looks like, the, fortunately, it, it, didn't, it had a pretty clunky setup this time, even though you did roll Cynthia's and stuff. Bridget, in the middle of the game, not when you really want to play it and you need more cards. But, there we go, that's the bench, that's the, what you wanted to turn one, though. Alright, so guard chop, you'll be able to take half my life, but you need a Cynthia to delete me. I said, dang it, they're all here, I need to hit that pal pad. Okay, in that case, we will just steamroll through this. Royal Blades, only, uh, unfortunately, 100 damage. So that energy probably could have gone back there. Maybe, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe Banana Master could have pulled something. Maybe. Well, I have nothing else. I am going to go ahead and pull those last two energies out of my deck, actually. One, I have one more energy in my deck. Um, there might be some of the, there's some of the discard as well. No, there's not. There's some of the prize card, probably. And we're going to use Dark Pulse and take out 220 damage. Take out this guard chomp that, unfortunately for him, couldn't set up. Now, he still needs another energy, two energies to start up. So that is going to be a limiting factor. I'm going to take another prize card for free. Actually, I have 80 hit points. You may set up Coconut Master or do something silly. But he is definitely, definitely stuck. All right, so that's coming up. If only there was a this involved in the flow would be insane. Okay, no one needs energies now. We're on, we're on over limit. In fact, we are just gonna hold this hand. This is perfect. I will just go while this weakened, very weak dark ride is like, hey man, I'm holding on, taking prize card after prize card. It is it's kind of no fun playing against an opponent that's bricked, but yeah. He did go through, you know, a bunch of draws, but apparently they just weren't clicking. Okay, so Garchomp decides to come out. This is the final, final Garchomp. is going to take a little... Oh, he may land everything and that everything may show up. But, man, I got half the cards left in my deck. I, uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, unfortunately for him, he just got bricked. I hate it when that happens, but it just happens. Okay, we're moving on. No Prism Star Dark Ride that, that game. Well... Looks like you made it to the end. Thank you, congratulations. So, let's give our best rating of this deck. Here we go. All right, 
This deck in general. Never put it that way. What is the unique trait of this? You can load lots of energies faster than other decks. The combo... Yeah. Let's just move on to that. The combo lets you do that. Aha, uh -huh, Dragonair, unlimited energies. And with the trainers, yeah, a lot of energies are going to drop down. You'll have more than your opponent, because you need to. You need to, so it's not going to be as uh, maybe fluid, but it's going to be like a big flood of stuff. So we're going to use 4 out of 5 because it doesn't quite do it fast enough. It's very predictable, and there's the bottleneck. You got to have this out. So 4 out of 5. Uh huh. Okay, so uh, moving on. Uh, damage! 5 out of 5. You have a one hit spam? Yeah, as long as this guy stays alive, you'll be able to spam Dark Pulse and get one shots. Same here! There's nothing stopping you from spamming this. It's very easy, so yeah, the 5 out of 5 is definitely in the range of this deck. One hit spam. Uh, setup is the 3 out of 5. If Dragonair does not go off, or you get like one turn that's bad, the this is very, very, very important. If Dragonair does not go off, and you do not get lots of energies that following turn, you're in trouble. We know that. So if your opponent is very uh, fat, has a fast deck buzz war or something, takes it out. Yeah, goodbye. Good luck. That's why I do not like this. It's a... The reliability rating is going to hurt right there, if I still had that down there. Uh, defense, 4 out of 5. We'll give it 4 out of 5 anyways. It's a... Uh, most of these two hits attacks, I mean, it's got enough hit points to survive those, but it's in the range where a lot of cards can easily one-shot this nowadays. Although we can say that the stage ones is getting there too, so... But still, this is pretty darn easy to one-shot. I'm gonna be nice and give it anyways, because you all do... If you're fighting with Prism Star Dark Rye, maybe trading one of these up, and you're following up with one-shots, it feels about normal. Because that you have to factor that into as well. I'm one prize card! So am I! Yeah, we're gonna follow up hard with two shot, one shot kills. So that balances it out. In the momentum wise, training and the battery like that. Final rating, I'm gonna give it a B. If I felt more reliable and I could depend on this all the time, yeah. And if it didn't need such a, uh, you know, you know, the stars have to align. It's not too hard, but the stars have to align. Reliability is the biggest rating there. Probably should change the system back, but it's getting a B. It works enough. And when it works out, you will destroy. Yeah, you're gonna have a decent good time. But when uh, reliability rating, everything could just fall apart if Dark Dragonair doesn't go off. That's the weakness there. Adjustments. Like I said, parallel is broken. You don't want parallel against you. So um, parallel will screw your opponent up. So let's add some more somehow. But deck space is so limited because you need these. Don't take Professor's Letter out. You need all four of them. So that is that. Anything else? Don't get to use what's up for next time. Ah, I didn't think about that. So. Well, since we did Turbo Ra Dark Rye, why not we do Turbo Raichu? The new Turbo Raichu using the new Pachirisu. I keep saying it wrong, but I'm getting it now. Pachirisu. Don't, don't go back. Don't ever say it the other way. Pachirisu's next. This doesn't look that interesting. What well, does help a certain GX card, better. Okay, so Turbo Dark Rai, meet Turbo Raichu. Since every since Pokemon decided to upgrade them, Turbo Raichu, Raichu GX is next. But Ultra Prism did something to this deck, so well, that's why we'll upgrade it like that. All right, so time to close this out. Thank you very much, Integrals and Friendshills. Uh, please like, subscribe. Helps us out. Yeah, I stream live on Twitch at a very weird hours. So uh, if you're you're in the loop, if you're in the loop. Follow me on social media. I'll give you clues when new things are happening. My Discord link is right above my head. Did you know the ceiling is above my head too? And your head. Thank you guys. My uh, remixes are found on iTunes, Spotify. If you really like these, they're found there. We we released them earlier this uh, month. Next one's coming out in May. Yeah, you're already hearing some of the remixes are done. So, yeah, I got to do another one this week. Zelda. Okay, so that is it for now. Thank you, and the girls and the Frenchels. Yep. Man, this must be an hour-long video. Are you actually still listening to me? No, you're not, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just talking in here. Just talking. Apples. Apples. Mm. Actually, I don't like apples at lunch. I don't know why. I just want to say apples.